I do look at life like a photo. We can go for a drive and trees will stand out to me. Light is always present. I will get my kids to stop if they stand in a shadow and just look at me and take it in for a moment. There is something about a still portrait where you strip everything back, there's no hair and makeup, and you get talking to that person and then you get that one shot, you can see their soul. And, and it's magical too when you pull that photo up on your screen and you'll flick through like 80 shots of the one person, boom, there it is, that's them. I want them to feel beautiful and powerful. So I always try and make a very standout shot, one shot in the whole thing. I've heard from husbands that their wife will lay in bed and look at that one photo for ages. Be like, look at me. Like if I can make someone feel good about themselves, I'm winning. I want people to see themselves how I see them. I find people interesting. I find everybody beautiful. It's okay to be who you are. That's enough. And breaks my heart, I think, when people are so harsh on like the, what they look like. When I really dig deep into why I do it and, and what I want to give other people, it's probably a piece of what's missing in my own life. You know when you remember something of your childhood, sometimes you're not sure if it's a photo or a real memory? But that photo, sometimes it can bring back a smell or, you know, a place or you can walk into a place and remind you of your childhood. And I think that's what I want to give people as a gift. I'll often do a storytelling session in people's homes and take a photo of the front of the house and I'll take a photo of the letterbox or the steps or the toys on the floor or the dirty bottles in the sink because that's how it was in that very moment. I find that stuff beautiful. They can drop all their masks because I'm actually interested in them. I will get down on the floor and play with their kids or change a nappy if I have to or get someone a feed and I'll sit down and I'll play and I'll chat and I'll try and chill everybody out first. And then we get into it and we always get the photos. And it seems to provoke like their everyday life, normal reactions, emotions. I do look at everything like a photo.